hello and welcome uh i have monster heddles and i have this girly to unbox laguna blue who is no longer blue <laughs> she was one of the those that were lowest on my list but uh, she was one of the characters that i didn't have from G3 and uh, was went for affordable price a while back uh, here in Bulgaria in a local store and uh, I've been wanting to um, get at least one of each character eventually that we have but they keep on making more and more monster idols and <laughs> I don't know if I can keep up but at least I can get one of each because I want to just See how they feel um, looking at them at reviews is one thing but uh, having them holding them in my hand is something different uh, I really love uh, the Cleo and I have loved all the ghouls that I have unboxed so far uh, here on the channel and by the way I have a, if you're new hi I'm Ellie Bulgarian doll collector I have a huge uh, Barbie but also monster high collection and uh, yeah I am just now basically trying to collect the Monster High dolls because uh, I live in Bulgaria as I mentioned and that's relevant because uh, they aren't very available here for us and uh, that sucks and uh, buying those from America from Amazon kind of sucks because uh, the shipping sometimes is more expensive uh, from the dolls which yeah this is how shipping from america works it's very expensive uh but yeah let's let me get rid of laguna's plastic and take a look at her how is mine printed a little bit wonky but not too bad i am a little bit confused about why is laguna's forehead so big and why are all the foreheads in G3 so big by the way am I the only one I don't know the foreheads look really big and it's not just when those are misprinted just the the style they all have uh, big foreheads which is I don't know interesting decision it's not my favorite to be honest here is the little art uh, she comes with Neptuna who is uh, it was a piranha originally in gen 1 but now it looks like an underwater cat with a tail I don't know it's cute let me snip her out of her box there we go she looks like oh they're so cute let me not uh, interrupt them uh, but let's uh, see the accessories because they do come with a lot of accessories and they better they were they are a little bit expensive for me here in Bulgaria um, yeah this is Neptuna again it looks like a catfish basically <laughs> it's cute and not like in the fish catfish but cat that is a fish <laughs> it's cute and let's put it here with tooth I like the design of the tail fin. She can actually, or it, I don't know. I think Neptuna is a girly. Can actually stand them. They all have backpacks. This is Laguna's backpack. It does look like an old purse that Laguna used to have in Gen 1. The, just the design, but it's, it's turned into a backpack, which is cool. And you can put stuff in there. Uh, comes with mm, is this like milk or cereal it has the original Neptuna design by the way <laughs> originally Neptuna was super ugly but uh, she's um, piranha so <laughs> yeah it has little come on gold crackers on there even the nutritional facts that's cool and two blank sides but it's a little carton which is nice ah <laughs> the phones the eye coffins 
all of them we're gonna have little shell design which is great and let's put it in the backpack um, a little snack I guess um, kelp crisps nice like chips I like the design it is pretty cute uh, we would fit in the purse in the in the backpack sorry mm, almost uh, a little hydro flask which opens kind of just the lid is removable I like the design I like the little fish tail up top it's cute sunglasses which I don't really care for and uh, bathing suit which for Laguna is suitable now let's take a little look-see at Laguna herself Laguna's hair is saram you can tell by how bad it looks out of the box and um, that's about saram it is the nicest fiber but uh, those with saram hair suffer from terrible box hair uh, the good part is you just need to put some warm, not even hot water, a little bit of uh, conditioner, just dip it in the water, put the conditioner on, brush it and wash it and she's gonna be perfect. I just like that they used good hair on her. It does feel a little bit greasy and it's very matted because of the the way that she was boxed but I am happy that she has nice hair mm, I'm not crazy about this hairstyle it's a little bit dorky but Laguna is a little bit dorky opposite to original Laguna o original Laguna was super cool she was just the, the cool girl <laughs> she's now uh, pretending to be the mean girl but she's actually the dorky girl the new Laguna which totally fine uh, they are all very different characters it has a vanity back, back or bum back I think is the other word in English uh, looks like <laughs> something bit off of <laughs> her back which is cute uh, I think Laguna is now uh, Piranha herself she has like sharp fangs in the movie at least and also uh, I know from uh, reviews that this uh, paint scratches off I don't know if it's a hundred percent for everyone but I know that uh, it scratches off I like how they kept her fins but they are no longer removable because I don't think that I, I own a lot of Lagunas but I don't think that I own Juan Laguna with her fins maybe one just one uh, they they were always lost because they were removable they were smart uh, to be removable because uh, she can put pants on easily but yeah they were always lost I like her shoes I like that she com comes with uh, little sandals I like the design they're soft and rubbery which is nice means if they're not gonna break so easily um, she's a little bit like a unicorn puked all over her like I don't hate her uh, don't get me wrong but I don't know the colors it's just yeah unicorn puke <laughs> she comes with a little hoodie which is pretty cute can I put it over her head it's going to be super cute if I could Let's see, I need to get the hair to put it like in there. Nope. Maybe if she wasn't in a high ponytail. <laughs> Why would they give her a hoodie and a high ponytail? The hoodie will work, but uh, yeah. Maybe I'll try it on Frankie because Frankie has better hairstyle for hoodie. <laughs> I like the hoodie though, don't get me wrong. I would totally wear her hoodie and 
maybe if it was a little bit longer because I personally don't feel uh, good wearing shorter tops because my back and lower back usually gets cold really fast and uh, hurts so I just am not comfortable I, I like how it looks on other people and uh, yeah but yeah if if a company makes this in human <laughs> size and it's longer I would totally uh, love it and wear it it is a very cute design let's let's see it on Frankie <laughs> isn't this the cutest thing you have ever seen I love it Frankie rocks it. And the Laguna would too if it wasn't for the hairstyle. Just It's not a good hairstyle. So everyone in G3 has uh, awesome fashion and better fashion than poor Claudine. I don't know why, why, why they had to... Claudine was the most fashionable and uh, currently dresses like a four-year-old. But everyone else has something really cute about their style in G3. Uh, yeah, she has a little shell necklace on and still has the fins. They just are the same color as the hands, which is fine. Let's remove the shorts, which I like these shorts. Maybe the frills are a little bit over the top but I understand the frills on Laguna because yeah it looks like fins so it's forgivable but how am I supposed to get the pants mm -hmm, off of her can I can I remove the pants look at them they get stuck on her fins. I heard the seam pop. And yeah, the seam popped. Trying to remove them. You can see the seam popped. This is why Old Laguna had the fins removable. Are they removable? Okay, I'm stupid. It's official, I'm stupid. The fence are removable. I popped the seam when I could have not popped it. But they are super hard to remove, which I get why they did it. But also I get why uh, the legs peel because they're removing the fence. So maybe if Laguna was just blue, um, yeah. It would have been better. We wouldn't have the peeling issues. But let's try the little swimsuit. Because I think it's going to be cute on her. Let me tie it. There we go. Yeah, it's actually pretty cute on her. I don't like this part how it turns but yeah yeah it's it's well made and I like it mm, yeah the orange kind of goes with the coral on her lips I don't know I feel like her eyebrows should be brown and her eyes should be green mm, just I get it that she has a natural uh, sk uh, not sk well skin too skin color but also hair tones but uh, I don't know just the the green eyebrows bug me because the eyes are brown and just brown and green fight each other a lot uh, when it's more forest green it's okay with brown but when it has blue undertones in it which this is like turquoise uh blue or green whatever you wanna call it turquoise is blue blue green color basically <laughs> mixed between the two um it kind of fights her eyes and when you add the pink 
on top of that. But uh, I love the ears. She has little fish and pearl uh, earrings. Maybe they should have been white, both of them. It would have been better and it would have went better with the choker, which is white shells. It would have made more, more sense than I would have liked the little um, barrettes, is it called? And this is, uh, um, I don't know the name in English, but uh, I think it's something like sea hedgehogs. It's, it's an actual little animal that exists, which I like the idea. Uh, I will give her her hands back when I decide how I want to put her on the shelf. Do I want... Hmm... I think I want to leave Frankie in this hoodie because it's absolutely adorable on Frankie. And... What if I put the pants under the swimsuit? Old Laguna used to used to wear it like that. Let's Let's see how terrible it's gonna be and I, and I say terrible because the frills and the colors are a little bit weird but let's see there we go I'm going to leave oops Neptuna swam away oh, can I reach her yes anyways uh, I'm gonna leave Frankie like that because this is absolutely adorable and yeah, I did pop this this stitch. This is not horrible, but it's not the best combo. I will leave Laguna like that for now because, I don't know, it is a little bit weird, but it is very Laguna-esque and without the shorts, it feels a little bit, I don't know, going to school just in a swimsuit but uh, you know going to class if you're going to swim class sure but uh, to math class for instance just in your swimsuit it doesn't look comfortable but uh, with the shorts I think it's doable it's wearable it is a little bit too bulky because of all of the frills but again I think that Laguna and frills uh, make sense can we Put the glasses on her. Yeah, it is a little bit harder because the ears, uh, but it's cute. I'm not gonna, well, actually, I'm not gonna keep Cleo's glasses on Cleo, on Cleo but this is pretty cute. Uh, I, I will do something with Laguna's hair. I don't like... Uh, the middle part. I'm millennial and uh, I think if you if you wear your middle part in the middle <laughs> You probably look dorky. Very few people don't look dorky. I like side parts <laughs> But yeah um, There are some people who can pull it off but usually people with big foreheads like her don't don't pull it off too well I don't know what it is about it, but I don't like it. I don't know if I mentioned her eye makeup. I do like her eye makeup a lot. I don't mind the dots on the forehead. I just wish she had smaller forehead or bangs. That's all that I don't like about her face. Again, the hair is a very box hair and just the combination between the purple, green and blonde is a little bit. I don't know. It's a little bit weird, but I don't hate it. I don't hate her. I actually like her and I'm happy that I have her. Um, I think the bum back might be overkill. Let's, let's see. Since she comes with it. Let's, let's try it. Uh, yeah, she looks like, uh, I don't know. She's going away for a long time you know she has too much bags on her like she's going to be traveling not like she's going to school and uh, we added more bulk here but um, I'm happy I'm happy to have her I like her 
Um, I will change her hairstyle, but I like her hair a lot. I like her clothing. I wish um, they toned down. Um, I know it's not gonna happen because they are going for this younger audience, which is totally understandable and fine, but just uh, I'm a very colorful person, but there is something clown like about her and i don't mean to, to i don't mean to be mean towards laguna uh, again i like her and i'm happy to add her to my collection i'm just uh looking at my older lagunas who let's be real had a little bit of derpy face because of the fish eye which mateo had hard time printing the fish eyes and they seems like this time chose that she won't have fish eyes because they could never do the fish eyes properly which i respect that decision but just i i wish maybe her hair was a bit less yellow and her skin was blue like it used to be but i think i'm going to get used to to her and uh, maybe she doesn't have the green eyebrows in some other designs um, even if I don't get another Laguna, this one is pretty enough, she's cute enough, I like her enough to be happy to add her to my collection. And uh, yeah, maybe I will get another one, maybe I will get used to Laguna Blue being Laguna Pink. Uh, maybe it's worth mentioning that Laguna doesn't have the webbed hands anymore, which I don't know. Um, any monster feature that we lose... Um, makes me sad and any monster feature that we add like with Cleo's uh, wraps uh, makes me happy because I want these dolls because they are monsters the the more monsters they are without being scary the better for me the, the more excited I am to have them all right I think we covered everything on Laguna. If you have any questions uh, don't be afraid to ask me in the comments I don't have uh, I don't receive that many comments that I cannot answer them. I eventually answer everybody if, well, if YouTube is good enough to uh, notify me that you have left me uh, a comment. I always try to answer and uh, I just enjoy <laughs> having conversations in the comments with you guys. And thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave a like if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't if you have thank you so much you're awesome and i'll see you in the comments and within a day or two on my next video thanks so much for watching and bye for now